<coughs> Good morning. It is literally quarter past seven a.m. on Monday, the sixteenth of September, <laughs> and we're supposed to be starting a new tandem read along today um, for the Instrumentalist by Harriet Constable, um, and we were supposed to all have had the books by today. There are still a few of us who don't have one, and that's me. I'm one of them. And I usually have my book. I'm one of the first people to have my book, which is weird. It doesn't matter. So, um, they postponed it until tomorrow, I think, which is the 17th. And then I just got an SMS this morning to say that my delivery is on its way. So, that's coming. Um, if push came to shove, I do have a, an arc of the book, um, which I have already read. <laughs> and I'm going to link it up, yeah, so do go and check that out, um, the video where I speak about it. Um, I'm having a problem, I've had a problem reviewing the book, which is when the read-along came along and I signed up for it. Hopefully... The challenges will help me and the questions and stuff and other people's insights will give me more insight into be able to review that. So I got my arc from the Bloomsbury Big Night Inn, um, which happened earlier this year. <coughs> and um, yeah, I will link it up in one of the other cards. So do keep an eye on the cards up here. Um, so yes, so I'm waiting for the courier guy. See you later, bye. I've been contemplating taking a nap, but it's now 8.30 and I just got an SMS to say that it'll be here in approximately 20 minutes. So, yeah, so now I'm waiting. I'm waiting, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Good morning. How are oh, you? I'm good. How are you? Long time no see, man. Yeah, you were here not so long ago. <laughs> You're doing well. No, I'm good. Two, two, four, seven, please. Two, two, seven. Two, four, seven. Please. Oh, two, four, seven. Yeah, I said. Sorry, it. sorry. No problem. Mm. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a, Have nice a day. lekker day, and you. You too. Eh? Stay safe, bud. See you. Eh? Ciao, ciao. I wonder what this will be. Low. Okay, 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 okay. Let's have a look. I really, I really need to do a TikTok as well, or a reel, and I want to do an unboxing one. So I can't do this on your end of me because I only have one device. It sucks to be me. Let me guess. Let me let me think. Do I do it on here? Do I do it there? Do I do it here? Do I do it there? I can. Because I want to do my ASMR. I'm doing a TikTok. See you on the flip side. Bye. Hi. Hello. Good day. Good morning. It is 8, quarter to 9, it's quarter to 9 a.m. on Monday the 16th of September and I have book mail from Tandem Collective and Bloomsbury Publishing. And this is ASMR. We are starting a new read-along, it was supposed to start today, but because not everybody has a book yet, they have to stand it for a day. Oh. Okay, now for the red pop up pop up. She is pretty. She is pretty. That new book smell, come on. You how can you just start as hot off the press? Ooh. And we have a bookmark here. 
which reads, I will be remembered. My life will mean something. It's like a, a faux leather. Cool, 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 cool. Read along starting soon. Come join us. Grab a copy. Love. Bye. How gorgeous. How gorgeous. How gorgeous is the cover. Just a little random fact, by the way, they took a real violin and they deconstructed it a bit and then they painted it on the inside and then they took a photo and then they made the cover. I will share that, that, that reel on my stories if I can find it again. So yes. Mm. Looking forward to this, it's probably going to start tomorrow, so... Yeah, sometimes it depends on the gimbal I'm using or the stand that I'm using. If I'm using my gimbal, then the camera has to be on my left, okay? Because the it just it just has to be. <laughs> it won't work otherwise because the arm is in the way. And if I'm using my normal tripod, then the camera's on the right hand side because that's just the way that I like it. So if you see me looking this way or not at the camera when I'm supposed to be looking at the camera, then that's why. Okay, bye. <laughs>
me to say that this is a spoiler warning and these are the content trigger warnings for this book um, please be warned that there are spoilers ahead thank you so it's stopped raining and the sun has come out for a bit but it's not warm it's only 16 and it's windy and the wind is cold so non-conducive to a warm boy mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so I finished the first part of the instrumentalist. I am now at the start of chapter 5, page 42. And we learn about Anna Maria. Um, we learn about her background. She's currently 8 years old. Um, and she's driven, she's ambitious. And of course, they're not world wise. They are in an orphanage. So they have no idea what's waiting for them. Okay, they don't know about boys and girls. Well, they know about boys, but they don't know about boys and girls and, you know, what kind of world it is and, and where a girl's place is meant to be. They don't know anything like that yet. Um, and of course, the orphanage teaches them music and they have an orchestra that brings them puns and stuff so yeah she's now been doing stuff she's on a flute and a, and whatever and then Antonio Vivaldi comes as the new teacher he's like 20 maybe or 21 or something um, and she falls in love with the violin okay so that's where we are at now. So she's determined. She has a 10-year plan. <laughs> and now, that is where we are now. The writing is fascinating. It's mesmerizing. Uh, the author has a way of bringing the time to life. I mean, because it's Venice. It's in the 1600s. It's 1700s. It's dark. It's not a good time it's not a good life you know so there's that um and then you know when you watch a movie and you get a chapter break or something and then they have a transition sequence before they continue the next scene harriet is doing something like that like it tells like where vivaldi tells her to stay behind and play this um, then the next chapter goes to where the seagulls, and then the one follows the seagull up, and then the seagull flies, and then lands on the thing, and then two falls down, is Anna Maria again, and then they continue the story. So that is a lovely. The writing is lovely. This book is lovely. Um, so there are no questions for today. We just need to, to let people know that we are doing three long starting today. And then, you know add in a song from a set playlist that they've already made up so we've done that and yeah so it's a really good read so far and they already have marked one quote see with the blue <laughs> yep 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 I like to to do things ahead but not today I I need to continue with the rest of the books for my TBR for Magical Readers on. So I'm stopping that for today. We'll see how the day goes. But I will continue. See you again with day two. Bye. Hello, welcome to day two. It is Friday, 20th of September, and I've finished reading. It's turned out to be a nice day, but the wind is icy, icy cold. I would love to have sit outside to get warm. It's cold in the house, uh, but the wind, it's just, it's too much. So, Anna Maria has discovered that she loves the violin. Um, we also discover... I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, that she sees the music as sound. She sees sound as colors. 
Um, this is syn synesthesia, I think it's called syn synesthesia, something like that. Um, so that gives her a unique perspective on the music. Um, she's drawn to it. If she can see it, she feels like she can grab it and, and it pulls it to it. So uh, she's weird like that. <laughs> People think her weird because things happen like that for her. Um, so Antonio Vivaldi has now seen her. She's is the new teacher there. Um, and she's got the violin and she started practicing and she has shown him that she's determined and he has seen her potential so he's given her private lessons um, and she has dropped all other music instruments so that's what she's doing um, but she has friends in the orphanage one is called Paulina and the other one is called Agatha um, but they all have been suffering through the pox and it happened years ago so they all have something wrong with them. Anna Maria is got scars, um, Paulina has only one eye and Agatha has a dent in the back of her skull or on the side of her head. Um, but now see I don't know, she's an orphan, they don't know the way of the world and of course they've all been driven to push. I mean, she, even, the, even the teacher told her she needs to grow up now because, you know, she's she's been singled out to have, to be talented. Um, so now she's had, she's been determined and stuff but now being told that she needs to grow up gives a sort of a paradigm shift. Um, finding out that only composers get remembered gives a... Gives a, a was part of that um so she becomes more driven if you know what i mean um so again this video will contain spoilers um, so if you don't want spoilers <laughs> oh, pardon me um so now agatha falls ill on the night of the of her first concert and and Anna Maria chooses career over friendship she doesn't have to she needs to be the best la 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 and she can't go after the concert because they won't allow her in so she'll go the next morning however the next morning is too late and the, and and Agatha died so now of course there's so much remorse and guilt and so many things happening to Anna Maria after the fact that her concert was a huge success and that she stood out etc etc so that's where we are with end of part one um so now there's obviously going to be a time gap a time jump um so yeah the writing is just oh, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's, it's this book is simply exquisite i said that the first time i read it i'm reading it again i'm seeing it again it's, it's just so 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 good so good yeah and that's the end of that for the trois um yeah that's that mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm gonna continue reading today or, or see how it goes day four is a catch-up day and day eight is a catch-up day so we do have time to fall behind but also I have other books to read and I want to actually rush this because I don't want to make this a super long video and I don't want to actually break this one in two but we'll see how that goes so yeah I shall see you for part three for day three bye hello hi <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to Saturday. It's the 21st. It's a long weekend here in South Africa and uh, everybody's partying. So, excuse the noises that you'll hear. I can't help it. There's just too much, even inside. It's from everywhere. So, whatever you hear, you hear, and I can't control that. So, it's the end of day three. It is day three, and I've just finished reading.
the section sport A3. I'm now on page 97. Mm -hmm. So as I said, there was a time jump. And Anna Maria is now 13. And she has obviously honed her skills. She's I've never seen a more ambitious person than Anna Maria. I mean, she takes it to the next level. Okay, not even the next level, the next 10 levels. She's so focused, so driven, so ambitious. So for five years, she's just been perfecting and learning her craft, okay? And so, as they get older, more <clears throat> opportunities kind of open up for them. And then they go to places and they see more things. So, of course, now secrets are coming out. Because, you know, orphanages are never just all hunky-dory. Yes, I know, everybody has to do chores. And, and then they learn, but... That's just the surface of what's happening underneath, you know, you know, uh, okay, so secrets are coming out and so on and so forth. Um, she asked for her own violin when she was eight and she finally has permission to get one now that she's 13. That's taken so long. Um, they're expensive, obviously. <coughs> And it takes that to go through channels. So, yeah. and her maestro Antonio Vivaldi has, is teaching her tricks, obviously, like he's supposed to. Um, but he has organized for her to be in the next Figli di Coro audition. And you can only normally audition when you're 14, and only the best of the best get in. Um, and there's hardly ever space, so there's maybe maybe one space for a violinist per year, okay? So now they're going to prepare for that. That's where we are. Um, you, the writing is, like I said, I can't, I can't help it. You just want to read more. You do. Um, so yeah, so this is where we're at right now. Cool, 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 cool. <coughs> Pardon. So they want to know. Uh, mm, oh, in the time, in that time and place, what do we feel about how Anna was left? I mean, so many worse things could have happened. They could have been left in a bin to die. Uh, she could have been too big. They could have left it too late. She could have had a better life. They also want to know: Do you think she'd have a better life? Or would life be different? Her life would be different. She might not have had a life. She might have died. I mean, I mean, it's the late 1600s. Seriously. So, I mean, it was very, very bad. And I mean, her mother was a streetwalker. So she might have a different life. I don't know if it would be better. Okay. But I think that her opportunities at the orphanage she wouldn't have gotten otherwise yeah and so that's that <laughs> uh, and this is my challenge for the thing as per usual the sound from tiktok has been removed due to copyright infringements to avoid them so see you on day four mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Run out of space on my phone. I'm busy with three videos. Unfortunately, necessity dictates that this will be part one. See you in part five.